Hello everyone, I'm Kyle, and today I'm going to demonstrate how you should clean your glassware in your common lockers. At first thought, you might wonder why cleaning your glassware is so important in the lab, but when you are working with your glassware, it may quickly become clear how your results in lab can quickly turn south if your glassware is not cleaned properly. In front of me, I have three pieces of glassware. At first glance, they may all look okay to use in your lab but after a closer inspection, you quickly see why some pieces would be preferred to use over others. While one was cleaned properly, the other two were not cleaned properly. One was not rinsed with DI water, the other was only rinsed out with tap water after having a solution of calcium hydroxide in the glassware. Glassware not cleaned properly will have a chance of interfering with the results of any experiment you do due to the contaminants left behind by the previous user. Before you even look into your drawers, you see that the labels indicate that you have several different pieces of equipment at your disposal. Most of the glassware in your drawers can be cleaned with the same method, while others require special treatment. For now, let's begin with a simple 250 milliliter beaker. The first step in cleaning a simple piece of glassware like this is to start with a little detergent. After adding some detergent, you want to scrub the beaker with your sponge in your common locker. Make sure to scrub the inside and outside. Once you finish scrubbing your beaker, you want to then rinse the beaker with tap water at least three times to make sure that there is no remaining soap residue. From there, you want to rinse the beaker with DI water at least three times. The sequential rinsing helps to assure that you have rinsed away any contaminants in your beaker. After you finish rinsing with DI water, you are left with a clean beaker. If you need to have your beaker dry in a hurry and you have acetone at your disposal, you can rinse the beaker with a little acetone to help speed up the drying process. If you rinse your beaker with acetone, be sure to dispose your acetone properly. This technique is safe for most glassware. For pieces such as flasks, test tubes, and graduated cylinders, you will use the same method used to clean the beaker, except you will not be scrubbing with a sponge. Instead, you will use an appropriately sized test tube brush found in your common locker. For pieces such as your burette and pipette, it is either not recommended or not possible to scrub the glassware. If we were to use a brush on the burette, it would likely scratch the inside of the burette, throwing off the accuracy of the calibration. To clean the burette, you first add a little detergent with water into the closed burette. After, cover the top of the burette and rotate it to coat the inside of the burette. From there, drain a little of the contents through the spout of the burette. Once that is done, you want to invert the burette and open the stopcock of your inverted burette to drain the detergent. You then can take your burette through the three tap water rinses and three DI water rinses, opening the stopcock with each rinse to allow some rinse to go through the spout of the burette. Then empty the rest of the rinse by inverting the burette with the stopcock open.
To clean a pipette, you first use the pipette bulb to pipette some detergent solution into the pipette. After you want to stopper the end with your thumb and rotate the pipette to coat the inside with the solution. Once that is done, you empty the pipette into the sink and proceed with your rinsing steps. Three rinses with tap water and three rinses with DI water. It is not necessary to use a pipette bulb to rinse the pipette with water. Just use the running tap and your DI water bottle to rinse the pipette from the top to the bottom. 